You've probably heard it by now. The Panama Canal, a vital link for global trade, is facing a major crisis. Its freshwater supply, crucial for its operation, is dying. This has led to massive delays, with cargo ships waiting for days to pass through. Shipping costs are soaring, and the impact is being felt everywhere. While Panama struggles to keep the canal running, other countries are stepping in. They see a chance to take over the canal's role and capture the $270 billion worth of goods that pass through it each year. China is planning a new canal in Nicaragua, Mexico is building a land-based trade route, and even the US has raised talks about reclaiming the Panama Canal. So as the race to replace the canal has begun, the question is which of these mega projects will rise to replace this 110-year-old trade route? Why is this iconic engineering marvel struggling to keep up with global demands? And what could this mean for the future of global trade and your everyday life? This is the story of replacing the behemoth Panama Canal trade route. But the question is, why is there even a need to replace the canal forever? Well, no doubt the Panama Canal has been a pillar of global trade for over a century. And you already know its history or what it has delivered. But with rising challenges, from a dying freshwater supply to increasing congestion, its future is in jeopardy. So the more concerning factor is its future. In 2023, the canal faced its third driest year on record, leading to significant operational restrictions. To conserve water, authorities reduced vessel traffic, causing delays and prompting ships to seek alternative routes. Shipping delays are causing massive disruptions and the global economy is feeling the strain. The historic drought is causing a traffic jam at one of the world's most vital shipping routes. A drought that's threatening one of the world's most important shipping routes. This morning, the Panama Canal, a critical trade route for the U.S., is in the middle of a major traffic jam. The primary culprit behind these disruptions is a severe drought, exacerbated by climate change. The canal's fresh water supply has been dwindling, leading to operational constraints. Another important factor is the aging of the structure. Its maintenance to meet the growing demands of global trade is becoming more expensive. With ships getting larger and heavier, the canal's narrow passages and locks are struggling to accommodate these changes. So in response to these challenges, the Panama Canal Authority has implemented measures like reducing the number of daily transits and introducing water-saving technologies. However, the long-term sustainability of the canal remains uncertain and alternative trade routes are being explored to alleviate pressure on this critical infrastructure. So now we are left with this. What is the future of Panama Canal? Maybe some alternate projects? Probably. So let's dive into some of the high stakes mega projects and explore how they could replace the canal and change the future of global trade forever. The first on our list is Nicaragua Canal, China's ambitious rival project. China has been working on a plan to build a massive canal in Nicaragua, just a few hundred miles north of the Panama Canal. This project, known as the Grand Interoceanic Canal, promises to be a game changer. With the backing of Chinese investors, it aims to provide a new route for global trade, bypassing Panama altogether. The Nicaragua Canal would be much wider and deeper than the Panama Canal, capable of accommodating larger ships. If completed, it could become a direct competitor, especially for larger freight carriers that struggle to fit through the Panama Canal's limits. However, this ambitious project faces serious hurdles. Environmental concerns, political obstacles, and doubts about its feasibility have all been raised. The Nicaragua Canal is still in its early stages, but if it moves forward, it could emerge as a serious contender to replace the Panama Canal. Alongside China, Mexico's is also looking for land-based trade corridor. Instead of digging a new canal, Mexico is exploring a land-based solution. The idea is to create a massive intermodal trade corridor stretching from the Pacific coast to the Gulf of Mexico. This trade route would connect key ports, allowing goods to be transported over land, bypassing the need for maritime shipping altogether. This corridor could offer a more efficient solution for certain types of cargo, especially in the rapidly growing e-commerce sector. 
it would also help Mexico capitalize on its strategic location, offering an alternative to the heavily congested Panama Canal. The estimated cost for this massive infrastructure project is around $7.5 billion. Despite its promise, the trade corridor faces significant challenges. The massive scale of the project, cost concerns and logistical difficulties could slow down its realization, but it remains a viable alternative that may complement Panama's role in global trade. An unexpected alternative has resurfaced in recent years, the US reclaiming control of the Panama Canal. The idea of the US regaining control has been discussed intermittently, with proponents arguing that it would help secure American interests in global trade. Given Panama's struggles with maintaining the canal, the US could reassert its dominance in global trade by regaining control over this vital trade route. While this is an extremely controversial and complex idea, requiring delicate diplomatic negotiations, it shows just how high the stakes are in the race to replace or supplement the Panama Canal. Though this proposal raises serious political and sovereignty questions, the notion of reclaiming the Panama Canal underscores the massive geopolitical and economic value the waterway holds. Another alternate is the Mexico's Interoceanic Corridor. In addition to the land-based trade corridor, Mexico's Interoceanic Corridor is an exciting alternative. This project connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans using a 308-kilometer railway across southern Mexico. Starting at the port of Coatzacoalcos on the Gulf Coast, the rail line stretches to Salina Cruz on the Pacific Coast. Instead of ships sailing directly between oceans, this corridor relies on cargo being unloaded at one port, transported across the isthmus by train, and reloaded at the other. The corridor, with an estimated cost of $7.5 billion, aims to handle up to 1.4 million TEUs annually by 2033. Although it doesn't intend to completely replace the Panama Canal, it could be a significant alternative, especially during times of congestion. This option is already operational and has proven faster than the Panama Canal is in some cases, making it a strong contender in the race for global trade. The next contender is Colombia's Atlantic Pacific Railway. Another alternative is Colombia's ambitious railway project. This project aims to connect the Atlantic and Pacific coasts with a 240-kilometer railway, linking the ports of Capurgana and Andi, cutting across northern Colombia near the Panama border. While the railway is still in the feasibility phase, the project is part of a broader national strategy to revitalize Colombia's rail infrastructure. However, the challenges are substantial. The route would cross environmentally sensitive areas, requiring extensive consultation with indigenous and local communities. Critics have pointed out potential financial, topographical and environmental hurdles, but the project has its supporters and it remains to be seen whether it can overcome these obstacles. Let's now see the Northwest Passage. One of the more unconventional alternatives is the Northwest Passage, a route that was once blocked by ice but is becoming increasingly viable due to climate change. The Northwest Passage offers the shortest route between the North Pacific and the North Atlantic, significantly reducing the distance compared to other maritime routes. As the ice recedes, this route is becoming a potential competitor to traditional trade routes, providing another option for shipping goods across the globe. While the route is still not fully navigable year-round, climate change is making it more accessible and it may become a significant trade artery in the future. But the thing is, why is this all important for the future of global trade? As the world's shipping industry grows, the need for reliable trade routes becomes even more critical. The Panama Canal, while iconic, may not be able to meet the demands of the future. New, more efficient routes are essential to keep up with the ever-increasing volume of goods being transported worldwide. In the next decade, it's likely we'll see a shift in the balance of power when it comes to global trade routes. Whether it's through Nicaragua, Mexico, or even a reclaimed Panama Canal, the alternatives to the current system could reshape how goods flow across continents. The competition between these mega projects will determine not only the future of global trade, but also the geopolitical landscape. Countries that secure the best trade routes 
will control the flow of goods and influence the global economy. So what does this mean for you and your everyday life? These changes won't just affect giant corporations and shipping giants. The ripple effect will be felt by consumers around the world. Shipping costs will continue to rise, impacting everything from the price of imported goods to the delivery times of your online purchases. In the long term though, the creation of more efficient trade routes could lower shipping costs and create new opportunities for businesses and consumers alike. While the transition might be bumpy, the hope is that these new projects will eventually lead to a more efficient, cost-effective global trade system. So you see the race to replace the Panama Canal is just beginning and the stakes couldn't be higher. Whether it's through massive infrastructure projects like the Nicaragua Canal or Mexico's trade corridor, the future of global trade routes is up for grabs. While the Panama Canal may not be able to keep up with the demands of the modern world, these new alternatives might just hold the key to the next chapter of international trade. So what do you think? Which of these projects could be leading the future of the global? But one thing is for sure, the next big trade route might just change everything. If you love such videos, I've made another video on how China has made it possible for ships to sail above the mountains. You can watch that by clicking the thumbnail here. See you until next time.